Hi, this is Jeff, and on this episode of Jeff Does Tech, I'm going to see if I can replace this with this to play this. Okay, so why is that? Why would I even want to do that? I, this gaming PC that I have for specifically for playing Flight Simulator works great. Plenty powerful enough, add all the accessories, does wonderful, has one problem. It's hot. It heats up my room probably 10 degrees if I play for a couple of hours. It's really warm. Here you'll see I even have a fan blowing uh, air on my face just to keep things cool. So, uh, I. And on the other side of my office, I have my desktop machine, which is a mini PC. And I know it can run Flight Simulator, and I was curious on whether it could do, how close it could get to the simulation that I'm using with my gaming PC, and if it could replace it. So that's what we're gonna try to find out. All right, for this comparison, I'm gonna look at boot times from cold start to booting the OS. I'm going to look at boot time of Flight Simulator and I'm going to look at the graphic complexity of setting for Flight Simulator from low to ultra and look at resolution of the monitor. I'll look at heat generated by CPU and GPU, frame rates, and then overall impressions of how playable it is at different settings. Looking forward to it. Let's start now. Okay. All right, let's review the specs of these two competitors. On the left is the Mini S4, and on the right is the custom build. And it's pretty easy to see that, and we knew this, the custom build is much, much faster than the, uh, than the Mini S4, 50% CPU faster, and 200% GPU faster. And for the reference to these numbers, I used user benchmark and just put in the two CPUs to get those uh, benchmark results. We'll see what happens with things like boot time and actual play. So here's your custom PC and the forum PC and your boot times. We know the custom PC is going to be faster, but just for kicks, let's just see what the boot and launch of flight sim times are. So 40 seconds and 220 seconds, 20 seconds and 150. So we're talking, a we are talking 50% faster for login and 31% faster for booting flight simulator. We have uh, four monitors all working. I'll show you in a second. And uh, this is the PC. Look at the size difference and the width difference between this and this big PC here. Um, this has, it's hard to see the back, but there's four inputs, two USB-C and two HDMI. Here's all four monitors, and I had four videos running at the same time. Not bad. And we're getting 41 frames a second. GPU utilization jumps between well, whatever and 100%, 99% basically. So we're taking off, uh, skipping a lot of frames. The 99% is seven, seven, nine frames per second. So um, it is far from, far from uh, doing well. However, it is playing. Um, this is probably, uh, as you can see, CPU is at 17%, so CPU is not the issue here. Obviously, the graphics card is, which is understandable. Number one, I have contact on 
But it is flying. Let's bring up the flaps. Um, ground. Yeah, it's uh, struggling there with the three monitors. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that the, at the frame rate that we're seeing, I don't think this is an enjoyable game to play at this frame rate. It's reasonably responsive, uh, but the, the jumpiness and the frame rate's definitely noticeable. You can see immediately we're up to almost 60 frames a second, so almost 57 frames a second. You know, you see somewhere around 60 is your what you'd like to see, but it's uh, very smooth. Take off here. Bring the gear up. This over here. And there's your view from outside. Um, I think it's great. Your GPU is at 90%. So that's pretty good. And uh, very smooth. Uh, map over here. ATC over here. And down below, you can see we have a checklist. So uh, frames per second is at 120. Look at that. Really smooth. Play with this for a little while longer. 119 and 120 frames per second. That is just doing well. So. so I think the next thing I would want to do is let's uh let's set step this up to uh, medium. Let's say we are at full screen 3840 by 2160 as well, actually. That is impressive. Uh, okay, there we go. So that's medium. GPU usage is 94 frames per second is dropped from 100, 120 down to about 72. Again, still seems super playable. Um, you don't want to be at 10,000 feet. Okay, so this is a test of mini PC. Um, with the settings single monitor for the view uh, with it on high end and um, just to see what we would get here um, It's looking pretty good. 72 frames a second. Still, this GPU is pegged at 100%. And I do see some flickering. Um, I just did a whole flight with it on medium, and it did not look like this. So it's definitely dropping some frames. And I would, if I were using this, I would go back to the other setting. So medium settings, what I, what I would do. Here's a summary of the test that we did. We had four scenarios that we looked at. And as we moved from the third, having all three monitors showing the main view, really was a fairly difficult experience. 
so there's no need to go any higher resolution and graphic settings uh, with that scenario. So we moved to the single scenario. We went from low, medium to high till we reached the limit. And, and the conclusion here is on medium settings, you're really getting a great experience. One that I'd be happy to play if, if the situation required that. I think that's really great. My three conclusions are that the Forum PC did not heat my room up at all. Uh, it, it was uh, cool to the touch. It, it ran very, very well in all modes. Uh, the single mo monitor with the medium settings, uh, that would be the one I would do if you have uh, a need to get flight simulator. And that's your configuration. It worked just fine. And uh, for what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep using my custom PC, but uh, find a way to cool down my room. So with that, thanks for watching. Take care.